want to illustrate how it will help uh, to do a little something here. I added a, a ground wire, just slipped the ground wire into the base of the uh, power supply here on the uh, GP5 uh, single side band. And um, I've got a, a clip lead for an external antenna here. This is a external listing antenna. And without any ground, this is what I get. Uh, let's see if I can turn this up. All right. And then when I clip the ground, let me move this. That's on. That's off. So, greatly connecting a ground lead greatly reduces the uh, the noise level, improves the signal to noise ratio. So, just thought I would add that. If you could find an easy way to uh, clip a ground to the ground, there's probably uh, an antenna ground or a signal ground here as well. Um, I did try using a uh, a stereo plug I've got a mono plug here somewhere I'll plug in there and we'll try that as well and see if that is maybe an easier way to connect your antenna uh, leads using uh, this kind of um, connector to do an indoor listening setup with the uh, radio <laughs> Definitely a difference here. Okay, on 40 meters, let's listen to the difference it makes having a ground wire. So I've got the antenna hooked up. And when I give it complete the ground wire, It's a big difference. So he's still readable. He's completely gone there. Definitely improves the signal. So what I've done is I've I've taken a uh, monaural jack 
and plugged it into where the antenna, the uh, medium wave antenna plugs into and uh, here in the top. And uh, just plugged it in there. So you could make a, a clip lead that would attach to the antenna and to the ground, uh, the radio ground, and I think it will significantly improve the uh, the performance of the antenna that you're using. In this case, I'm using an external antenna into the shack, coming in on 50 ohms, and uh, actually I think it's coming in 75 ohms. But in any case, you've got this splitter here to uh, work with on the uh, County Tom. County Tom. Uh, radio GP-5 slash single sideband SSB Dirt bike on his truck. 